finished Spurs 1, Arsenal 1 here at Wembley. It's Tottenham's first draw of the season. Yeah. Um, was it a point gained or two points dropped? I'm in really I'm really split between that. The thing is, if Birmingham didn't get that penalty, I'd probably say two points. Um, two points dropped because we had so much momentum after uh, uh, after the penalty that we had that I really think we could have gone on to win the game. But considering they did get that penalty, I'm kind of more leaning towards the point gains because, um, I mean, great save from Hugo. Credit to him. Um, uh, yeah, I think a credit to actually a lot of players. Uh, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to be quite positive after this because I think Trippier was much more improved. I wish maybe he got forward a bit more but and he got a letter Woby getting a few too many times around him but he was, he was improved. You know, I, I was very surprised that that Poch started him over all yeah um, as I think most people were but I think um, there, there were a few frustrating performances Ericsson was really frustrating to me the big one and I'm, I'm super worried super worried because I think his head's already in Madrid to be honest I've got I've got to be honest for the for, you know since 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 January what's he done he hasn't, he hasn't done anything since January unfortunately I think it's it, a game against Dortmund in the Champions League uh, in the league, in the league, we'll say, in the league, we'll say. Champ Champions League, we, we play very differently, um, and looking forward to that on on Tuesday. It should be good. Um, Why do you think? Do you think Spurs struggled today in terms of like, creating chances? Like apart from the dub big double save in the first half, where he forced Leno into making, we didn't create too much today. Yeah, and that's and that I think was uh, there was a lot of pressure on Ericsson today to be our creator, and we just didn't have that today, unfortunately. And it is very concerning because it, we don't we haven't scored too many goals from, from um, open play recently. So it's it's very concerning considering the amount of talent that we actually have on the field. And for that, it's it, it is it is on uh, you know Kane, um, Eriksson, Son to really start creating. Um, but shout out to I think um, Wanyama because I think he, he, we know he's not he's not 100% fit yet. He was sort of thrown in there, um, and I think he needs to play some um, sort of reserve games to really get his fitness back. Uh, it was in terms of the game overall. I think we, you know, the first half was very. It was a it was a very weird game, a great game um, overall. But especially in the first half, you know, we I think actually we were the better team, and actually overall throughout the whole game. I've seen Arsenal fans though on Twitter saying Jan Vertonghen ran into the box before Bamiang took the penalty and stuff, and they're they're claiming VAR already. <laughs> it's already started. You know, they're just a bunch of bottlers, aren't they? Yeah, a bunch of bottlers um, bottled a bottled a one 0 lead um, when we yeah and the penalty in the last minute and the penalty. I mean, yeah, I think that proves yeah Kane, Kane is better than a Bamiang, we'll say. Um, but I'm really looking forward to to choose. I'm going out there myself, so it should be yeah it should be really, first first European away game for me, Spurs. So who's your man of the match today? Musa Sissoko. He was everywhere. Yeah. And he, he lost the ball a few times, but he just made up for it. And the runs he was making was amazing. And just just one last thing, I think I I, I felt. Danny Rose had he had a decent game. I felt sorry for him being thrown into that midfield yeah, near the end. Then he re he was losing the ball so often it caused us a few worrying moments. Um, and also Davinson Sanchez, I'm a bit worried because he, he gave a lot away today. Was that him that gave away the penalty? And the, and the first goal that was his fault. Headed the ball downwards. I think we're going to really miss Toby when he leaves because it, it seems he's going to leave. And it's, it's very concerning to me. How be vital could this point be uh, for, the, for the end of the season? Going, uh, going for the top four, obviously if Arsenal were one today, they'd only been a point behind us. We keep that four-point gap. So is that, do you think it was crucial to get at least a point today? It was crucial to keep them at bay. I think uh, Chelsea United fans will be drooling over this result. You know, they're, they're, they're going to be sensing the opportunity here. But I think, you know, we, we know that we're, we're going to struggle with some of the games we've got coming up against uh, Liverpool and City. Massive, massive games. And... I'm quite worried because you know, we, our record, our record against them isn't great, and and, we, and that's also counted. That's six points. I say we do lose those six points already gone, and then we're relying on winning all our other games. So it is, we're in a, we are in a proper proper battle right now for the top four, and just looking at the start of this week, you know, that's one point out of three games. It's it is it's very upsetting to be honest. I'm I'm, but. You just got to back the team. We back the fans. You know, we, we there, there was you know, it was really good. good. We're hearing good things. We're hearing good things um, about the stadium recently. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I, th I think overall point gains. Point gains. Cheers for coming on, Alex. Cheers. Nice one, bro. <laughs>